Okay, so we're going to be making these faux, faux <laughs> birch logs with this uh, over-the-top bow. These are so easy, you won't even believe it. So, yeah, we're using a pool noodle, and I got this one from Walmart, but you can get them from Dollar Tree as well. They're about the same size, the little, little cheap ones at Walmart. And I cut my pool noodle into three equal pieces. Doesn't matter what size, just whatever. And then I just took cardboard and I took a pencil and drew around and made some cardboard circles. Now you want to make them just a hair bigger than your noodle, okay? And this is ribbon that I've had from the Dollar Tree and didn't know what to do with it. But if you don't have this ribbon, I'll show you in a little bit. I, I made some printables for you. Um... I am just going to mark where I need to cut it, and it's it's going to be, I done forgot, y'all, I done forgot. Um, it's going to be just a little bit so that it wraps around and touches itself, because I want to make sure that it goes all the way around. So there will be a seam, but we're, we're not going to pay attention to it. So I'm going to need four for my size. Uh, you can measure and then cut according to your ribbon or whatever you have before you even cut the pool noodle if you want to so I'm just gonna measure and cut out all of my little pieces here and I'm gonna use this beacon three-in-one you can use fabric tack these are the best glues for this project hot glue will melt it plus it leaves bumps and I don't like that this stuff sticks amazing so I'm just going to Put it around the cardboard, stick it to the pool noodle, even it up as best I can. And this stuff does get on your hands, wipe it off as soon as you can. When you go to wash it, it's kind of um, jelly and gooey, but I mean, I thought it was kind of fun to peel it off my hands, but that's just me and I'm a dork. But anyway, I used to chapstick my lips together when I was in kindergarten because the glue tasted like wintergreen and I loved it don't judge me maybe that's why I'm a crafter who knows but anyways so once I got my cardboard on both ends I just wanted to share that tidbit of information for I don't know why but I'm gonna put glue on the inside um, edge of this and then I'm going to stick it down making sure that I go above the cardboard just a smidgen okay you see that smidgen that's a smidgen now I'm going to make sure this don't pull off and I'm just gonna make sure that I got my cardboard glued okay because I want this all the way to the top and I want the bottom glued and I'm just gonna go around with my glue and smush it down now if this gets uh, crooked which sometimes it does this glue is um, good to play with for a little bit where you can move it around and before it sets up so that's a good thing about this glue um, you know that's better than hot glue because when hot glue you stick it you stick it okay so make sure you get your edge right there and I'm going to push over and smush any excess glue out and it seals my um, edge y'all know I wanted to say crack seal it seals my seal there you go seals my seal so I'm gonna do this here's the papers that I made into printables and they just you can size your pool noodle to that and it goes right around and looks just as good y'all just as good but I had this ribbon and I didn't know what in the world to do with it so I chose this to do that because one I needed to get rid of it and two it's to me it felt like corn shucks I don't know it's really weird it rips really easy it's very thin and this is the only thing I knew to do with it really so I'm this is what I'm doing so I'm going to do this with all of my pieces except uh, the little one for the bottom. And like I said, this rips really easy. So I'll show you what i done. Uh, you do want to make sure when you glue this, you get it pretty tight. Okay? You don't want it falling off. So now I'm down. Got all of them but my last one. So I'm just going to lay this here. And then I'm going to rip. It rips, like I said, so easy. Did y'all see that? And I'm just going to tack this piece on just like I did the other three pieces. I had to think, what? how many did I get? It was three. Make sure when you do this that you glue around your cardboard really, really well. And you want a piece, you know, that's, that's hanging off a little bit. We'll trim it later. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. These were so simple. I think, honestly, I think the bow was the hardest thing. Um, and you don't have to do a bow like mine. You can buy a pre-made bow. 
or you don't have to put a bow on it. You can wrap it with jute, uh, with nautical rope, you know, whatever you want to do. This is just an easy, easy way to make these logs without having to get your hands all nasty with, uh, you know, paper making bumps and things like that. I just thought this would be easy. So now that I got that, I'm going to let my glue dry, okay? So now that it's dry, this is, I believe it's territorial beige. You couldn't see that, but I'm almost positive it's territorial beige. And I got a makeup brush. I love painting with makeup brushes, y'all. And I'm, I'm using a stylus. You can use whatever you have, uh, a pencil, just long as it's, you know, not going to leave marks. Anything that won't leave marks. And I'm going to take, uh, pour some paint out here, and then I'm going to get a heavy amount, okay? A heavy amount. And I'm just going to smear this all around. Now, on the inside where there's, um, if you have a gap or have pool noodles showing, just shove some paint down in there. Then I'm going to take the stylus, and I'm going to go around and around in circles, and I made wood grain. This looks so neat. It is so simple to do, and it is so, so neat. So, I'm going to do this to all three ends, um, which I already have the other two done. But, um, I'm going to, I did this to all three. And you don't have to be precise with this. Just, look, I don't know if you can see it. I really don't know. But it looks good. It really does. Trust me. Just trust me, okay? And then I'm a hoarder, so I'm going to get up all my extra paint here and put it back in there. Um, what didn't go on my arm there. And then, um, I'm going to, uh take this after I get some of the paint off and I'm just going to go back and forth sideways and put some brown marks on there. This this makes it look a little more realistic and gives it some character uh, because it was just gray. So I like this look. You don't, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And if you find that your seam is uh, coming apart, rub it down. And if, if you don't catch it in time, you can use Mod Podge Matte and go over that. Um, but when we put it together, we're not going to see that seam anyway. So, but you do want to make sure they don't come apart. But look at that. that. My camera is so blurry sometimes. I I got it on a focus setting. I don't know what it is. I'm not used to this camera really. So, um, I, I'll get it one day. But you see me. I, I messed it up. So, I painted it again and then drew my little rings back on. Now, I'm just going to take scissors and I'm going to cut off any excess paper that's or ribbon or whatever this is that's hanging around and it just trims it up and makes it look a little better um and that's all you do for the logs uh that's it i told you this was so easy and if it's paper just wrap paper around it it's one one time it's easy peasy you can mod podge it on or whatever you want to do if you have any um once you cut the paper you have any pool noodle showing or whatever you can just take your paint and smush it in there and cover that up. As long as it's brown, you can't see it. You can't tell. So now I have my noodles, okay, or my logs. They're not noodles anymore. And I want them stacked like that, okay? They're so cute. My husband and my daughter's like, those are pool noodles? Seriously? And I'm like, yeah. Um, I will tell you one mistake I did with this, okay? Uh, well, first let me tell you, this ribbon came from last year at Christmas at Hobby Lobby. And then the other one... Uh, it did too. I'm pretty sure it did too. So you can get ribbon at any time or use whatever ribbon you want. But when my mistake was when I put glue on here, do not use hot glue. Now, if you have paper, you might can. I don't know. Hot glue might stick to paper. But this ribbon, like, totally melted. Okay? And the pool noodle underneath of it melted as well. So I want to put this on and that didn't stick very well I ended up having to use the three-in-one or the uh, beacon Fabri-Tac okay don't use the hot glue as I'm doing right here don't do it but where I'm putting hot glue you want to glue okay glue this and then I'm gonna bring my ribbon around and I'm gonna glue my ribbon to my ribbon and I am pulling as tight as I can I do go back and secure my ribbon down um, cause the other logs were slipping out with the three in one or fabric tack is what I done. So there's that. Now I'm, that was a, that was a no, no. You don't, don't do that. Okay. Learn from me, learn from my mistakes. I do make them. Um, and I don't mind sharing so that you don't do it. But, um, 
I got these two ribbon. They're gorgeous. Okay, they are gorgeous. And I'm going to put the little one on top of the big one and hold it. And I am going to loop over. Well, I looped over too small and realized I didn't want that like that. I'm going to do folds. And this was a pain in the rumpty dump, honey, to get these two together. I, I, I don't even know. I hit the camera. My life is a mess. My life is a mess. So I'm just folding over, okay? And I'm pretty sure I did this three, three to four times. Depends on how full you want your bow. I think I did mine four times. So I'm just going to go around here four times with this ribbon after it gets done ticking me off here a little bit. And... Then I'm going to cut it and give yourself room, okay? Now I'm going to stack it in together tight, push them all in, and I've got a pipe cleaner. I mean a pipe cleaner. You can use a pipe cleaner, but I have a zip tie. I like them better. I'm going to cut a notch in the middle. I folded it over to find the middle, and I'm going to cut a little notch again on the other side. Do not cut all the way through, or you'll have a mess. And then I'm going to put my zip tie, my crack, my cut, my cut slits, things, and then tie it really, really tight. Then I just cut the end off. Now I can pull and separate my layers, okay? Separate your layers together if you can. I was having trouble. Of course I was having trouble. I always have trouble. But you just pull them from side to side and one in the middle. So I did three loops on each side, not four. And I didn't like how this looked. So I made another little um, froofy bow to go in the middle. But anyways, I'm going to um, glue this down. I was going to make some, um, you know, ribbon tails, but I didn't want to because I've got the one going around the middle. So I'm going to hot glue this to the ribbon, but I don't, I don't want it glued to the ribbon I didn't know if it would hold so I put felt in between the two because I mean anything hot glues to felt it seems like so I just put my felt circle I almost said square my felt circle there and then I glued this to the felt but it didn't stick so a little trick to what I done you I I'm a sewer as well as you know so I have straight pins and so I'm going to take straight pins and I'm going to put two straight pins down in here where they cannot be seen and they push right in the pool noodle y'all and I'm going to secure this down because I just felt like that bow was not um secure or sturdy it was I don't know I just felt funny about it so I just put my pins in there and now I'm fluffing this out but like I said it, I didn't know what I wanted to put in the middle so I've got these sprigs that I found and I have not got my Christmas tote out yet because I don't want to get my Christmas tote out and have it in my way and then, you know, have it out all this the whole season through the fall and everything else. But I'm going to use these two um, picks because they're similar to each other and I pulled the end off. Now you can poke this down in your pool noodle if you can get it in there, but I just stuck it down right there and I didn't feel secure about that either to be honest with you so I did stick um, more pins in it or staples in it and I glued the crud out of it there's my old gray hair but anyways I, I glued it really really good and kept gluing it because I was afraid it was going to fall apart and I didn't want that so it took me some maneuvering but I got them in there and then like I said I just I really didn't like it um, in the middle it's it's really spread out there so I got some of these eucalyptus picks, and I'm just sticking them in there, too. I pulled them off. It's just extra that I had in a tote, and I'm going to put two at the top and two at the bottom, and I've got two of the things at the top and two at the bottom. I'm just doing two and two, I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, you, you decorate this however you want to, okay? You can do more things to it. You, you can do whatever you want. You'll see me fooling around here in a minute, I think, with um, the red berries and uh, pine cones and I don't know what all that, I'm, that I've got that I'm going to be doing here. But the middle was just so open that I made another bow by just doing the exact same thing and putting it in the middle. And I know I'm rambling a lot. I don't know why. It might be caffeine. It might be my nerves, vitamins. I couldn't tell you, but 
I'm, I'm, I'm on a wild streak, I think, and I am so sorry for that. Y'all don't have to watch me make this bow. But anyway, my bow is thinking crooked. I, I put it more on one side than I did the other. I don't know if you can tell right there, but it about drove me nuts. So you'll see me in a minute, okay, adding some stuff to it. And because it was so far over on one side, there's the berries, okay? I, I clipped the thing off. Now I'm going to glue them in. I almost melted them with this glue gun. It is a high temp glue gun. So I put them in and notice I'm like, no, go over. So I kind of smoosh it over and then fluff and it's a little better. So after I, I got it down and, you know, tried to get it even, I'm just going to take the two pine cones that I have and I'm going to put glue on it and smoosh it right down in there. Now I do have to hold these for a minute to make sure they, they uh, stay where they're at, but I just put one on each end. And that's that's cute. I you can add the flowers, you can add whatever you want to add to yours, make it your own. But this was just an easy, easy way to do this. And that bow, y'all, I <laughs> I ended up loving it. And these were so cute. When I told my family, like I said, these were pool noodles, they were like, What? No way. So I was like, just watch the video, y'all. But anyways, if you like this, leave me a thumbs up, give me a comment, tell me what you think about them. Until next time, remember, you are a blessing, and I appreciate y'all more than you know. Goodbye.